Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome back to the video, y'all. I just got back from doing some Botox. You guys will see that in a second, but I've been getting a lot of requests to do vlogs for you guys. So I really wanna see if I can go a whole week vlogging every day and actually become a little vlogger. So there's a few events I have going on this week. I have a DIY project that I'm doing. Look at this little rat. Now let's throw it back over to me getting Botox. This muscle pulls up on the brows, yeah, and these ones all pull in. So anything up here can drop your brows slightly. So the oh. brow lifts or anything to open you comes from here and here, which is okay. the opposite. So the forehead, mm -hmm. the glabella, and the orbicularis kind of in conjunction is gonna yeah. give you the brightest kind of like, lift. Cause like this is yeah. so, this I hate. Yeah. We'll I'm like, that. it looks like a freaking ball sack. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I hate it. <laughs> I'm injecting higher so you don't get heaviness here. Thank you. Beautiful, just my hand. That was great. Good. I'm just getting some tinted sunscreen. We gotta protect the skin. It was so nice to meet you. Is that your bag too yes. from this fun stuff? Yeah. Did you see all the goodies you, they yeah, gave you? I cannot believe it. This is my favorite. This is like Ooh. growth factors. So it has two different sides to it. When you use this the first time, turn it over, hit it a couple of times, okay. it'll prime it. Bunny ears to kind of get, because it's dual pumps, oh. but use bunny ears so you make sure you get both, both of them at out the same together. Time, yeah. Then mix and then put it on. This will be your first thing. Yesterday was a really traumatic day because I messed up my book binding. I'm rebinding my Akatar book and I made the dumbest mistake ever. I ironed on vinyl on the wrong side. Basically, I put what was supposed to be on the back on the front cover. I just bit the bullet and remade an entire cover. So it'll hopefully be ready tonight to put the actual right vinyl on, but I really want in and out after that stressful night. How is there literally no one on online. It's 1.40 p.m. It's like prime lunchtime and there's no one here. You guys don't understand. This line is usually around the block, bitch. East Coast style says online and not in line. <laughs> and it just sounds wrong every time. I'm always curious what everybody else says. It's you online. Got, no, you're waiting in line. No, you're waiting online. You don't wait online. You can go online. Yeah, it's, no. It's the internet. Sure, yeah. Online is the internet, but also online is where you wait to get no. somewhere. You're at the grocery store. <laughs> you're checking out. you go out. online. You go, you get into line. No, you go online. It just this is one so thing wrong. I'll never be able but to break. please, I'm just really curious what other people say because it sounds so wrong. You guys are going to hear my vegetarian order. How are you? Hi, good. good. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Can I have um, two grilled cheese without lettuce? Oh no, I'm sorry, with lettuce, without tomato and no onions, and a fry well done, and a medium Coke, and a puppy patty. And I'll just do a double double protein style with grilled onions. Thank you Thank so you. much. Have a good one. You struggled to get that one. I out. did. I was like, wait, what the fuck do I say? I got like stage fright. Oh, I like. Um, I was like, wait, what do I say? The biggest thing when I first had In-N-Out was I did not like the fries. I still kind of stand by that, but if you get the fries well done, they're more like McDonald's fries, I personally feel. You can get them medium. That's medium better. is still not crunchy enough for me. Well is just like, they're just chips. You got it. We got it. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> the dogs are gonna be so happy for their puppy patty. We got you a puppy patty. Yes, 
He got to it. Mo is going feral. Ow! Fuck! Easy, June. Good girl. Okay, I just checked on my book. Thank God everything is doing good. And I'm gonna start to reprint the vinyl and do some wheedling, which takes the longest part, by the way, out of this whole process. But I really wanna just stay up and get this all done because I lost a lot of time fucking up yesterday. <laughs> the vinyl that I chose is this like orangey iridescent vinyl. I have to reprint everything because yesterday I just messed up so many times. I have messed up so much with this Cricut. If you are ever attempting to rebind a book or use a Cricut, like please watch a lot of tutorials. I watched specifically That's My Bookshelf on YouTube for a lot of this tutorial and her videos were beyond helpful. So this right here is the Cricut app and this is the front of the book cover that I designed. However, trying to wheedle out this thin of a rose was so difficult. So I'm gonna look for different rose patterns and see like, you know, this one might be easier to do this one because the ones where it has the white in the middle those are gonna be very difficult to wheedle I'm gonna make these a lot smaller and turn them all black it doesn't print in color it prints the color of the vinyl I'm just gonna pick a rose it's very difficult to know how easy it's gonna be to wheedle out or if it's gonna be difficult so I have more than enough paper here so if it is something that's difficult I'll be able to reprint pick a rose any rose I'm just trying to center this as best as I can and make sure that there's like a decent amount of space. She's playing with her books and so we gotta feed the dogs. Even though Judy you got came a running. puppy patty. Oh Jesus. Mo, you need more food. This is the good stuff. You want the good stuff? Stay. Stay. Okay. Good job. The cover, I think, is finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything flat and try to get this as even as possible so that nothing hangs off the edges. This is the most tedious part of the whole process. And then now we can make this. really happening Mo however it happens yeah it's kind of cool it uses like a needle or something that's pretty crazy to watch it do its thing I feel like I'm gonna hear this sound in my dreams <laughs> sounds like Wally see a world I'm trying to decide like for the spine what I want to do now I like the text I think I like the outline it's a little sus I like how that looks it won't be red it would be black I think that's pretty good Okay, it literally looks perfect. Is this your favorite part? No, I hate this part so much. This is always the scary part. <sighs> it's stressing me out. Iron it on. I bought this little craft mirror, but it doesn't get hot enough for the transfer. So I just have been using my own iron very carefully though, because this can get very hot. And one thing that I've learned is actually before peeling this off, you want to let it cool down a little bit because I was trying to peel it off while it was too hot and it was still sticking to the papers. This is real freaking stressful. Yeah, you're not even doing it. I know, that almost <laughs> makes it more stressful. Doing this during Mercury retrograde and the eclipse is probably not the best idea. There's always one part that's a little bit more stubborn. You did it. <sighs> Phase one. Clean the operating room. Yeah, I'm gonna get off all the fuzzies, all the dirt. The back is coming off. Oh my god, it looks so fucking good. That one's less stressful. Way less stressful. I'm finishing up the cover, just pressing everything down and wheedling. Count how many times I say wheedling in this video. I don't even know if that's correct terminology, but I think it is. It's oh. happening! <laughs> oh no. I'm so A shin scared. slam. I'm scared. To top it all Oh wait, off. funk, I just saw one error I have to fix. There it is, sneak peek. Are you going to do a victory dance? Hell yeah. I'm so stoked. 
You guys should have heard the gasp she let out when she realized she put the last one on backwards. Oh my God. It's like, oh no, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, I felt bad. But here we are. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. I could literally cry, guys. You're a world champion. <laughs> you really did it. I really did it. It looks wow. good. Thanks, honey. I cannot believe I did this. I'm very happy and pleased with myself. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the press overnight just for extra reinforcement. I'm not gonna do it super hard though because I don't want anything to get messed up, but I'll see you guys in the morning. We did it. Ma'am, I can't just sit here and rub your weggies all day long. I have to work. I've done it. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Moe's coming in. Oh, I know, Mr. Jealous. Who gets so jealous? Oh. It's the battle between mom's affection. Today I have two events to go to, so I'm just kind of editing my videos and getting ready for that. We have an Amazon event and then a Lawless event. The two of you, I can't take it. We did some very quick glam and a very, you know, light hair moment, but I'm getting ready to go to the Amazon influencer event. I'm excited because it's really cool to get a chance to meet with some of the brands that are in Amazon and Riley's gonna be uh, editing the vlog actually as I go out and doing some other stuff. He's been getting into more photography, so it's really cool to see. Let me show you guys my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. It's from Gilly Hicks and Hollister. And then I have on the Prada loafers. I'm just going very natural because it's a middle of the day event and I don't wanna be sweating. Like it's very hot in LA this week. It's like 85. So yeah, let's go. What was the affirmation for firm belief? I am stronger than I know. I think with the sun, we're a little bit soupy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have that really beautiful, natural, radiant high highlight, but also gorgeous at night. So all of these that we're talking about, we're focusing really like on the power of peptides. I want you to feel this texture. Feel how light it is. It's designed to be layered with other skincare or with your cosmetic. There's a bunch of different brands here. It's really fun. We just got finished doing a little demo with the Alicia Keys team for Soul Care. So let me show you guys what we got going on here. There's so many cool goodies. Just got this new Reebok jacket. I'm so excited. And how cute are these, guys? I'm home now and I'm starving, so I'm making my vegetarian tacos or burrito. I will normally put a lot more other ingredients in it, but we didn't have peppers, so I usually do rice, beans, spinach, onions, garlic, and peppers. That's usually what I like to do. Sometimes I'll throw in cauliflower too. It's like very girl dinner of me, but I need to eat before I freaking pass out. I'm at event number two, Mother Wolf with Lawless. Let's go inside and see if anybody's here. This has been a chaotic day. Very hard to vlog today. Do you guys take reservations? It's Wednesday, y'all. I did such a bad job at vlogging yesterday. I'm really sorry. It was just such a chaotic, hectic day. And I felt like I was gonna faint all day long because I really didn't eat very much. And then when I was out to dinner with Lawless, I was so engulfed in conversation and, and just like hanging out with people that I totally forgot I needed to vlog. So today we're gonna do a much better job at it, especially because I have therapy, I have an event, and Riley's gonna be present for all of those things. So Riley helps me with the vlogging. But right now I'm just editing some stuff for TikTok, Instagram, and just spending the morning outside because it's so nice. But my allergies are really bad. My voice is like super raspy again. 
Making some late breakfast. No one can tell me otherwise that eggs, sourdough, and spinach is not the greatest breakfast combination of all time. It's a scientific fact. Everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, and you need sriracha. Simple, but effective. Are your coworkers performing up to par? No, they're truly not. This one's sleeping, this one's watching. They're not helping at all. And getting a little afternoon pick-me-up, a little Coca-Cola, getting ready for therapy. Nicole's out getting pretty before the event, so we're gonna go sneak up on her. Ooh. Blinded. Let's see what she's got going on. What blush did she pick tonight? Drum roll. The little stinks. We want to know what blush you chose tonight. I chose the Dibs Orange Blush, and it's in shade four. There you have it. You heard it here first. So interested in my blush. Are you going to steal it for me? Well, I just didn't want us to be clashing tonight. Oh, OK. Steal my thunder. <laughs> it downtown for the philosophy event. This is a week of events. Tomorrow we're going to an event with Tower 28. It's a lot of week of events. I know. This is the most events I think I've ever been to in my entire career, which is cool, but also exhausting. I'm not built for this anymore. <laughs> you were born for this. I was born this way. I was born this way. I'm on the right track, baby. I was born this way. And my burn is killing me guys. I have it bandaged. So I'm just gonna go to sleepy night nights See you tomorrow <laughs> We are here at the milk bar about to go in celebrate tower 28's birthday I'm so excited. I've actually never been to the milk bar, but I love the milk bar cookies. So let's go in Oh my god. How cute is this? I mean, my favorite flavor. I'm so grateful for the support. It really means so much to me. We are also launching our confetti cake flavor of our lip soft tea, which are they getting it? It's in the box. Oh, it's in the box. It's a surprise. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Can I have this little tiny piece? I'll go ahead. Gwen was like a cute, she's cute, I love it. Look, Thank I love you. sprinkles and Me like... too. I just got my cake. We're gonna take it home and we got our truffles to take home as well. And the new Tower 20 lippy. I can't wait to try it. So I'm gonna pack everything up now. <laughs> We made it a week. We did it. We did it. Did we do it? You did <laughs> We're gonna try and have a productive day today, but my neck is just killing me so much. And I'm editing some videos for Instagram. I think I might honestly take a little nap. I've been feeling like absolute crap, guys, because of the burn on my neck. Like, I cannot explain how bad it's throbbing. And don't worry, I did go to a derm and get it checked out and I have the cream and I have all the stuff. But yesterday I just kind of came home and I had a few meetings. And then today, honestly, I might start my other book rebinding process. So we'll stay tuned for that. But let's try our little cake pop that we got from yesterday. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's really good. <laughs> This is my Taco Bell dance. This is my Taco Bell dance. 
Friday and I always order food on Fridays. That's like, I'll either do pizza, I'll do Taco Bell, I'll do like something unhealthy. Today was Taco Bell. What's on the menu? Okay, I just ordered like a bunch of random shit because I didn't know what I wanted. But I got cheesy roll-ups. I got these potatoes because they fucking get, always get rid of the nacho fries. I'm done. The nacho fries need to be a permanent staple. Fuck the Mexican pizza. Bring back the nacho fries. Anyway, I got cheesy roll-ups and I also got a cheesy bean and rice burrito. They've got new chicken something or somethings. Grilled Cantina. chicken. Cantina. Cantina chicken let's just throw a nice word in front of it we got the burrito and the crispy taco Ooh. oh and they got a new avocado salsa oh my god so we'll fire this baby up is it spicy probably not you want to try a slice yeah it's real cheesy all right, we're gonna oh go that in. avocado shit's real good i just tried it avocado salsa cantina chicken damn that is really good this thing is just coated in cheese. <laughs> All right, this is crazy good. I'm giving this like a nine out of 10. This really? Is, this is really, with the avocado salsa. That avocado salsa is everything. This is extremely good. Rate us. Okay, I love these cheesy roll-ups better than the quesadillas because they're a lot, it's a lot less cheese. So if you have IBS, these are good. What I do is I dunk the cheese in the cheese. Mm -hmm and cheeseception happens. Seven out of 10? No, these are like a nine out of 10 for me too. A taco is nine out of 10. We're going burrito now. You already had a bite. First bite, delicious. Didn't quite get in there yet, so oh, yeah, here we gotta, go. You gotta get in there. It's good. That shit is good. Uh, you're, what you the heck? approve of the new cantina. I way too much approve. That's, <laughs> I'm going eight out of 10 on this. I'm gonna say the taco was a little better. Okay. Eight out of 10. Happy, happy days. She's a happy guy. What do you rate the new avocado sauce? Oh, this avocado sauce? This is a 10. Really? This is a 10 right here. Okay. Yeah. And the packaging is genius. Just tear across and it just comes right out the middle. Oh, it's like a safety. Yeah, uh-huh. I've it's, seen that before. You gotta throw a little fire sauce. But those are sauce. so nostalgic. A little fire sauce. What? Too. A little fire? Are you crazy? Mm. I'm glad you like it. That was the money bite. That was the money bite. Taco Bell, sponsor us. I was just telling Riley that every time I order a bean and rice and cheese burrito from Taco Bell, like I haven't found a combination that I like. It's either too spicy, too soggy. So today, what I did is cheese, black beans instead of refried, and the yellow rice that they have. So let's see, you know, how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous. Anything? I don't know yet. I need to take another bite. We know nothing yet. Mm-hmm. That's a hit. Give us something to work with here. Okay. I would say that's a seven out of 10. I still just really like the cheesy roll-ups. Does it need more cheese? No, but I think having the black beans instead of the refried beans makes it better. I also took off the spicy jalapeno sauce because I think that might've had cilantro in it and it was also too spicy. So I think this is a hit. I'm still skeptical about it though. You don't sound in any way convinced. No. This is very underwhelming. Yeah, it might even be a six out of 10. I like want to see what's going on in here. Oh, okay, that's what that is. 6.5? Seven out of 10. I'm, I'll be, I'll be good with that. All right, you're still on the hunt. I'm still on the hunt. Stay tuned. But I swear some potential. We gotta cut into this cake. I'm a little bit scared. Hey, all right, all right. Let him have cake. He loves it. I'm really nervous here. I'm not gonna do a big slice because I feel like this is the type of cake where it's really filling. It's a lot of cake. It's a lot of cake. If you can't handle it. No, I can't handle it. Oop, there it is. It's really good. That's got some real potential. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Better than your cake pop? Yeah, I'm not a big cake, cake pop girl. Holy shit, that's a huge slice. Party on. It was very interesting seeing how they made these cakes. Like there's so many steps to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
attachment to them. Well guys, thanks so much for tuning into the vlog this week. I'm gonna be better at vlogging in general. It's just gonna have some growing pains. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.